Hi, I'm Tim with Canton Termite and Pest Control. We see a lot of unusual things when we go out to work every day. Here's something you might be interested in. Have you seen a large nest in one of your trees and worried that it could be something dangerous living just above your head? Well, I am here to reassure you, what's living up in your trees is not a deadly new breed of arachnid that only wants vengeance for a past wrong. No, in fact, it is merely a caterpillar. This insect is the eastern tank caterpillar, a social species that forms communal nests in the branches of trees. It is sometimes confused with the gypsy moth and fall webworm, and may also be referred to as a tobby worm. It is univoltine, producing only one generation per year. These caterpillars are among the most social of larvae. The adult moth lays her eggs in a single batch in late spring or early summer. An egg mass contains about 200 to 300 eggs. Within three weeks, fully formed caterpillars can be found within the eggs. The small caterpillars lie burrowing until the following spring, when they chew their way out of the eggs just as the buds of the host tree begin to develop. The newly hatched caterpillars initiate the construction of a silk tent soon after emerging. They expand the tent each day to contain their ever-growing colony. The caterpillars feed three times a day, just before dawn, at mid-afternoon, and in the evening, after sunset. During each bout of feeding, the caterpillars emerge from the tent, add silk to the structure, move to distant feeding sites in mass, feed, and then return immediately to the tent where they rest until the next activity period. The exception to this feeding pattern occurs in the last development stage, when the caterpillars feed only at night. The insect has six larval stages. At the last stage, the caterpillars disperse, and each constructs a cocoon in a protected place. The adult moths emerge two weeks later. They are strictly nocturnal and start flying after nightfall, coming to rest within a few hours of dawn. Mating typically occurs on the day the moths emerge from the cocoons. The females die soon thereafter. Tink caterpillars, like many other species of social caterpillars, vigorously thrash their interior part of their bodies when they detect predators. These bouts of thrashing, which may be initiated by a single caterpillar, radiate rapidly through the colony and may result in group displays involving dozens of caterpillars. Such displays create a moving target for tachinid flies, wasp, and other small parasitoids that would lay eggs on or in the body of the caterpillar. They also clearly deter stink bugs and other timid predators. The tank caterpillar is one of the, is of some important, okay, we do this little part. Such displays create a moving target for tachinid flies, wasp, and other small parasitoids that would lay eggs on or in the body of the caterpillar. They also clearly deter stink bugs and other timid predators. The eastern tank caterpillar is of some importance as a pest because it defoliates ornamental trees. Damaged trees, however, typically recover and refoliate within several weeks. So, if you have any concerns about these caterpillars damaging your plants and trees, fret not, for this is a perfectly normal and harmless part of nature. But, if you have any continuing worry, call us today at 770-479-1598.